hi guys and welcome to adobe and right here i'm actually using the inbuilt assets inside adobe anime okay as you can see some cheeks running or working with the bear and the dragon so i don't really understand their own intention the bear and the dragon but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you guys straight into adobe anime and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys i'm going to exit out and let's start a new project entirely click on new and then click on create there we go i'm going to leave the size of everything the way it is the default size is about 1280 by 720 so that's fine but let's reduce that anyway i'm going to reduce that to about let's make it about 50 that's cool now the next thing i want to do is let's go straight in here and get hold of a background okay i need a background so let's set to four all right that's my background there grab it drop it right in there that is the background now you can now go straight into a line or you can go straight into windows grab your line tool that is it right there if you don't have it right here okay select that and make sure align to stage is centered and click here you see where we have a line now select align horizontal center and align vertical center there we go look at it well flushed in so i'm going to right click on the background now and i am going to convert that to symbol or you can always press f8 to get it converted so let's give it a name i'm going to call it yellow bg yellow bg underscore bg now i'm also going to get it centered here yeah? look at that you see where we had the registration point i'm going to click on center and click on ok right there so what i want to try and achieve is to animate this very background so to do that i'm going to go straight into my library if you don't have your library open go to windows and that is your library or you can always select Control plus l so open up the library that is the library right there and that is my yellow bg double click on yellow bg there we go that's yellow bg there let's reduce the size so that you can see that I'm going to make that about 30. Right. Okay. That is yellow BG there. So what I'm going to do now is select yellow BG and just press Ctrl B to copy. Ctrl D. There we go. Just press Ctrl D. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to select both. Again, select both and Ctrl D there we go that's good enough for me there i will now select control all control a all right and you can go straight to modify and just get it grouped or you can just press control g there we go now i've grouped it all lot now the next thing i want to do is i want to animate it so i'm going to just zoom all the way to maybe about 575 press f5 f5 to copy it across that might be a little bit too too slow okay let's come all the way to about yeah 700 uh, okay maybe you go to about 700 there we go right click and just press insert keyframe or you can press f6 there now the background I'm now going to slide it across just like that and that will do that's fine my animation is done now right click anywhere within the frames that I've just added right click anywhere and select create classic 20 and you accept this click on ok now the line should appear showing that it's now twinned you can go back to your scene now click on scene to go back it's right there somewhere so let's let's run it anyway you see it now and that is it okay let's 
Okay, close that and just move this up there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I need to add those characters that you guys saw earlier. So let's come in here. You see the asset. If you don't have the asset, all you need to do is go through to Windows and you should be able to see the asset. Make sure it's checked. Okay. Now let's come here and look for those little chickens that you guys saw earlier. Scroll right down. We should be able to, there. We go. Okay, I'm gonna grab the chicken. We can log this. Grab the chicken, drag it, drop it somewhere here. There we go. So place the chicken there. The chicken seems to be a bit large, so use the free transformation tool and just reduce the size a little bit. Let's spray them a little bit. And there. So if I run it now, this is what you see. It looks like the chicken is running or working, whatever the chicken is doing. Now let's add. Let's look for the the bear and there we go. That's the bear there. And let's place the bear somewhere here. Move the bear in a little bit. Looks a bit friendly, but uh, now let's look for. There we go. Grab the dinosaur and just drop that there where is it do that again there yeah, oh there we go and right there and let's run it and that is how you create your own animation in adobe using using the assets so with that guys i want to call it the end of this beautiful tutorial and you all have a nice day now and bye for now